Hudson Valley residents will literally witness history as the new New York Bridge begins to rise out of the Hudson River. It all starts with the structural support pilings. Approximately 1,000 steel tubes placed deep into the soil below the river and down to bedrock where possible to become the foundation for the new bridge that is designed to last a century without major structural repairs. These piles are filled with steel reinforced concrete, then capped with more concrete to form a strong base to hold the cable stayed twin span. Then the towers begin to grow. Specially designed climbing forms move upward, gradually adding section upon section of steel reinforced concrete, all of it sourced right here in the United States. The high strength concrete for the towers and the rest of the bridge will be made on site using floating concrete batch plants right on the river, keeping trucks off local roads. The cables are then anchored to the towers and stretched down to the steel girders so construction of the road deck can begin while the towers are still underway. The towers will continue to rise until they finally reach 419 feet into the sky. Giant prefabricated sections of road deck are then added from the center and cables support or stay the bridge in place by connecting from the edge of the deck to the angled towers to better distribute the structural load. More road deck sections are then added while maintaining a delicate balance, completing the 1,200-foot main span of the new bridge in mid-2016. This will be another significant milestone, but just one more step on the way to 2018, when the entire new New York Bridge project is scheduled to be complete, on time, and on budget.